We're here in the vineyard getting ready to prepare a new uh, pit for our barrel compost. We have we have one we have one existing pit that I can show you first. Um, basically, it's underneath this big rock here, and uh, it's called barrel compost. But in actuality, it's kind of this uh, little uh, chimney looking thing built out of bricks. Uh, so that's that's what we make the biodynamic a barrel compost in and then over here we've got the new hole we've uh, we've prepped it with just putting a little bit of biodynamic compost in the in the base of it and then we'll take these bricks and we'll build up a little uh, a little circular pattern uh, around it and fill it with uh, barrel compost which is mainly uh, raw cow manure along with uh, crushed up eggshells and some um, basalt um, basalt dust, uh, volcanic dust, as well as uh, a full set of all of the compost preps. So the uh, 502 through 507 that typically goes into an entire um, compost pile, we actually put those preps into this small portion. So it's like a very kind of potent version of all the biodynamic preps um, are going into the barrel compost. Yeah, so uh, this will just give us uh, kind of twice the number of, of pits here to be able to make more barrel compost. That's one that we like applying to the vineyard along with um, our BD500, the cow horn manure, uh, when we get a chance to do so because it, um, you know, really aids uh, getting the power of kind of all of the different biodynamic preparations back into the vineyard. Normally that only happens when we spread our biodynamic compost um, at the end of the year, but uh, the barrel compost allows us to add that kind of as a, as a tea, as a spray throughout the year, um, really get kind of more, um, more of the benefits of biodynamics into our vineyard.